Hi there! Here you're going to learn the simple basics of how to create your own customized character in iClone 5. Let's start off by importing in one of our default G5 characters, Chuck. Once he's in, I'll go directly into the Head tab and select Load Image. I have a nice portrait image here of Barack Obama, so I'm going to load that in. In the first step, I simply want to crop out his head. So I'll select that area, and then select the check mark. In the next step, I just want to set the facial boundaries. This is fairly easy, just move the marker to their appropriate areas on the face. You can use the preview on the left as a rough reference, but basically, you just want to get most of the head material encompassed. The next step, facial orientation, is used for faces that are at a particular angle in the original photo. Since Obama's face is directly facing forward in this photo, we don't need to adjust this. The next step is the most important for facial accuracy. This is where you set the feature points and contours. Move the markers of the head to encompass the head area and you'll see the preview image on the left change shape as you make adjustments. I'm going to zoom in on one of the eyes here and zoom the preview image to show what a difference proper marker placement can make. If I move the eye markers, normally both will adjust, so I'll turn off the mirror option first. You can see that as I adjust the left eye here, the result on the left preview window will slightly improve. This is because I'm putting the markers in the correct places, while Obama's right eye still needs to be properly fit. This process will take a few minutes to get all of the fitting correct, and you'll need to fine tune the adjustments according to your particular character image. Each character has a different shape and will have different results depending on the image. Since I've already previously fit and saved Obama's head, I'm simply going to drag it in from my explore window now onto my character. You'll see that his skin will adjust according to the color of the head that I place on the character. However, my Obama will still retain Chuck's hair. If I want, I can go into the actor tab at the top and then to hair to select from a number of different hair templates. To move it, just use the W hotkey and then use your gizmo. You can also change the shape and scale. I can make Rasta Obama, Afro Obama, or even Hip Hop Obama. I can also adjust the different facial features in detail, such as the eyes by selecting the facial feature and using the sliders shown below. You can mix and fool around with your own shapes to get whatever result you're looking for such as Heavyweight Obama. You can also use the Randomize feature. If you raise the variation slider higher, you'll end up with a more distinct variation from your original image. Notice the relatively grotesque results when I press down the Randomize button. Use the Control z key or the Reset button to get back to your original face. Now for a brief demo of the body customization features. To customize your avatar's body, Go to the Avatar section and select Avatar Proportions. Here you can adjust every part of your avatar's body, such as head width. Aside from that, I can go into the Preset section and use any one of the templates available there, such as Strong, Skinny, or Cartoon. So you can make a cute little Obama like this. Simply use the reset key to get back to normal if you don't like your results.